Hi everyone, Gem here. Thanks for watching today. Following on from the launch of the Made to Surprise Pop Up Wiper Book Collection, I made a sample of a new home card that had a cloud background. As I didn't film the process of the card making, I've decided to recreate that today with you in this video. So let me talk you through the Made to Surprise products I'll be using. So I have the new home A5 stamp set, the new additions die set, the bookmark and wax seal stamp and die set, the wiper mechanism die set, the pop-up book mechanism die set, and these two embossing folders, the Ditsy embossing folder and the linen embossing folder. So I'll just talk you through the pieces that I've die cut from this pop-up book mechanism die set. So I have the largest here in the yellow, the next size down in white, this piece here in green glitter cardstock, and then these two pieces in white. I've already gone ahead and I've heat embossed the new home stamp and um, this picture image onto those white pieces. I've cut one of this in yellow, two of those in yellow and two of those pieces in yellow. From the wiper mechanism die set I've cut this twice in yellow cardstock and what I've done is if I just hold it to the camera for you see these score lines here I've trimmed along these score lines on one of the pieces on both sides and then I flipped it over and I've attached them so hopefully you can see that additional piece that's been stuck on there and I've used Kalal glue to attach them together to make those pieces nice and strong and I've added a curve into them. I've also cut these two pieces from this die set so one in yellow and one in white cardstock and I've heat embossed home sweet home. That stamp is from the Simple Pop-Ups um, collection. I've also die cut uh, several hearts in um, coral, green glitter cardstock and yellow and you'll see me embellish the card with that later on. From this stamp and die set I've cut the two bookmarks there. I've embossed the white panel and attached that with some foam pads. I've then threaded some ribbon through and attached this bow. So this will be going on the front for decoration. And then I've also die cut this With Love Wax Seal in Silver Mirror Card. Hopefully you can see that. And then I've die cut several pieces of these. So in here I've got the hearts and the flowers. I've just die cut quite a few in different colours and they're ready then for me to embellish the card. So first I'm going to work on my cloud background and I'll just show you what I used in my original card. So I just had a piece of white cardstock and I just drew sort of some cloud shapes and I fussy cut one side of the panel and then I did similar shapes but sort of larger curves on the opposite side and I just used this side first to ink then the next line down I used the opposite side so because I'm going to be using different colors for this project I've used my original stencil and I've just drawn around it in a larger piece of cardstock because um, I inked one piece so I could have a continuous background across both panels. So I was having to ink this bit, move it across, flip it over and so on. So it did take a little bit more time to do that. So I thought it would be easier to have this larger piece that will fit the whole length of my piece of card that I've cut um, 
and then I'll trim the panels down a little bit further then to fit on the card. So I'm just going to pop you on high speed now while I fussy cut this out. So I'll just show you the shape in more detail there. So I just take a pencil and sketch a cloud shape and then cut that out and we can start working on ink in the background. So now I'm going to start to prepare my panel. So I've just trimmed a piece of white cardstock down to six by the length of an A4 card, so 11 and three quarters. So I'm also going to be using a finger dauber for each color of Distress Oxide. So I've got Cracked Pistachio, Squeezed Lemonade and Worn Lipstick. This is following on from Sam's live demo and I was just inspired by her colour um, selection. So what I'm going to do with my white panel is I'm going to sort of by eye split it into sort of three sections. So I'm going to have the cracked pistachio at the top, the squeezed lemonade in the middle and then the worn lipstick at the bottom. Uh, this does take a little bit of time so I am going to pop this on high speed but I'll just talk you through um, the first part of the process. So I've got my ink and my finger dauber and I'm just going to hold my panel by hand. You could um, tack this down with some washi tape if you wish, which might make it a little bit easier. So I'm just going to pop that there. You can't quite fully see the whole panel but just at the top here I've tacked it down with some washi tape as I've done with the bottom here. Um, I'm going to lo load up my finger dauber and I'm going to heavily go around the stencil. So I'm just following the curved edge. And then I'm not going to add any additional ink. I'm just going to blend the rest in. So again, going around the outside just blending that panel into white once I'm happy with that I lift up my stencil Just going to dry the edge here with a cloth that I use for stamping because now I'm going to flip this over to this end and I don't want any ink from this cardstock to get onto my panel piece. So I'm just going to line it up now into position. if I'm happy with that I'll start on the next row so you can see the process once I've done this one um, I may start to blend the squeeze lemonade in but you'll see um, <clears throat> even with it on high speed
So there's my completed uh, background panel. I'm going to set that to one side um, and let that dry fully while we work on other elements of the card. I'll just hold it up a little bit closer so you can see the true effect. So I'm really pleased with how that's turned out. Um, on my original card I had a blue and white background um, but you could go for more distress oxides if you wish. You could have um, each sort of line of clouds could be a different colour and you have a really nice and bright um, coloured background there. So as I said set this to one side and I'm going to work on the other elements of the card. So I'm going to work on the book pieces first. So all I'm going to do is attach each layer together. So I've gone ahead and I've added a slight curve in each piece of uh, card there with my bone folder. And you just simply curve the card stock as so. And it gives more of an illusion of book pages. So I've attached double sided tape on the back of each of my panels. So I'm just going to pop you on high speed while I stick all that down and then I'll come back to you. So there's my book pages um, all assembled now and ready for the wiper piece. So I'm going to firstly trim down this piece to five and three quarters by five and three quarters and I'm going to work on the card base and then attach in the wiper. So as I said I've gone ahead and I've trimmed two pieces of the inked background down to five and three quarters squared. I'm now going to attach them into the inside of my card. So I've cut a piece of 12 by six along the 12 inch side I've scored at six. So that gives us our six by six card base. I'm using Kalal glue to attach these panels on the inside so that we've got a nice and strong card to help to support that wiper mechanism. So I like to give this time to dry. So I'm going to place this to one side and let it get a better grip um, and let that glue set. And we can work on decorating the front panel. So I've got A piece of white cardstock that is cut to five and three quarter squared, then this green glitter cardstock that is five and a half squared, and then I've got this white panel that is five and a quarter squared, and I've heat em sorry, sorry I've dry embossed this panel using the linen embossing folder, and that will sit on the top there. I've then got these other elements to go on the front of the card. So we can just sort of build it up as so. So what I'm going to do is set this to one side, but I'll attach all these together and decorate, and then I'll add the panel then onto the front. So there's the front panel decorated ready to sit uh, stick on the front of the card. So I'm going to set that to one side and let that dry. Next I'm going to work on the wiper element. Sam has demonstrated adding it into the card first but while my panel is drying I'm going to assemble some of the elements um, prior to inserting into the card. So you can work it two different ways. So I have my wiper piece here. As I said at the start of the video, 
I die cut this twice on one of the pieces I trimmed along the score line and I've cut two separate pieces here and attached them together with some collar glue. I've added a curve into the wiper pieces just to help the movement of going in and out of the card and I've gone along my score lines and reinforced those on my scoreboard. So we've got this V shape here. So you want to valley fold those pieces, those score lines I should say. And then this centre score line is a mountain fold. So you just fold it all in like so. So you're then following the V shape. So you want to do exactly the same on the opposite side. And then when it's folded flat, it looks like this. Okay. So it'll go in and out of the card like so. Next, we're going to take this piece and we're going to mountain fold the three score lines. I'm going to add quick grab glue to this section here. And I'm going to flip it over and it fits in this section here. So I'm going to sit it alongside the score line, not on it, just alongside it. I'm going to add some pressure to that to hold it in place. Once you're happy that's on there, you then want to add some quick grab glue to the opposite panel. And that's going to sit there what you need to do is make sure that you fold this in slightly and then tuck it over like so and then close it all up and add some pressure to both sides and then it'll these triangular or v-shaped pieces will go in and out of that triangle piece you don't want to fold it straight over because if you do that <clears throat> it'll stick to these pieces here and then the wiper mechanism won't work once that's attached we've then got these two pieces so we've got a rectangle and a square if you valley fold on the score line this square piece sits on top of this piece here so you'll have one either side like so which sort of forms a cradle then to hold our book in so I'm just going to get those stuck down now so I'm happy that the glue has now set on my panels and I'm going to attach the wiper piece so all I've done is that I've just put a little guideline at the three inch marker there just to help me center this wiper piece so I'm going to add quick grab glue in this section here and I'm going to place this using my uh, marker there as a guide in the centre of the, of the card and it's sort of just on the outside of the score line. So if I hold that up and you see that there's the edge of the wiper piece and then there's the score line there. So I'm adding a bit of pressure to that. And while that's drying, I'm going to add some more quick grab glue to this side. And 
and close the card up add in some pressure to that bit there so what i've been doing just adding something heavy onto this piece so i've just got some rubbing alcohol here and i'm just going to place the bottle over the top of that and just let that glue dry so that's now set and the wiper piece opens and closes like so so i've got quick grab glue on both these tabs here the book piece is going to sit in inside this and it cradles it um, what you want to do is close it up slightly and the book element needs to be sort of either side of these wiper pieces so they need to be on the outside on both sides so i hope that makes sense so as you you fold it in you'll have one on this side and then one on this side so as i'm attaching those you obviously want to make sure that is the correct way up so that's fine and i'm just going to place that in the center of the card so as you close it up you'll be able to see where it's sitting and then i'm just going to add some pressure to those pieces so now that i know i've got it lined up you can go in with your hand then and add pressure to those tabs if you wish so now we've got our book element attached um, but it's not very stable so this is where these pieces come in so you want to attach them where they're not interfering with the wiper uh, mechanism so this piece will slide down on this side and this piece will slide up on this side so we want to add a tab here sort of on this side behind this piece and that will hold that in place that end and then we want to place this one on this side and that will hold stabilize the whole book then so I've got my pieces and I've mountain valley mountain folded them so you've got sort of this concertina piece And you want to add quick grab glue to this smaller rectangle tab and place it in this top corner here so i think sam recommended one inch across and one inch down so that looks about right for me You basically just don't want it to be seen when the, the card is open so if you bring it in slightly from the edge then it'll be hidden so i've got this piece attached to this card now so we've got the folded edge facing the edge of the the book there and then you're going to place this piece down completely flat and you're going to add quick grab glue to this end rectangle piece and you're going to slowly close the card up and add some pressure to that side so that the tab can grab onto the back panel so i've gone ahead and i've attached the other tab inside the card so i'm just letting that dry and then as you open it the wipers come up either side and the book is now stabilized so i'm going to start with the inside decoration so i've just popped something underneath just to hold it in place I'm going to add the home sweet home to the top here 
and then I'm going to add a cluster of flowers to this end. So I'm just going to trim a bit off each wiper. So I've added some quick grab glue there. I'm going to pop that in place where I want it. So I've got it underneath the book. And I wanted this piece sort of as a, um, like a diamond shape. So I've tacked that in place and I'm just gonna close it up to make sure that you can't see it poking out of the card which is absolutely fine. So I'm happy with that. Then on this end, I'm gonna add a heart. So again, you want to make sure it's sort of tucked inside and it's behind this fold here. So I think I'm just gonna pop that there and then add some further hearts and flowers sort of as a cluster here. So I've gone ahead and I've attached the panel to the front of the card here. I've added a little bit further decoration, some more flowers and hearts. And I'm really enjoying this colour combination. I think it's really sweet. So the card opens like so and the wipers pop out at each end. And then you've got um, the cloud background on the back, the hearts and the flowers and the home sweet home stamped there. And I have to say I'm really pleased with how this has turned out as well and you could also add the keys from the simple pop-ups collection um, I added them to my first card I had them at the top and then home sweet home at the bottom but I've decided to add some more flowers to this one and I think it's turned out lovely I'm really happy with that so all the products used in today's video will be listed in the description box below I hope you've enjoyed the video if you have, you might want to give me a thumbs up, comment on the video or consider subscribing to the channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future tutorials. Once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!